What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? I'm Safety Scissors. And I'm Duct Tape, and you were about to say we are hanging out here. I we saw are. it. We are hanging out here. Um, <laughs> we have a few things to talk about. Yeah. We're just, you know, it's our, our intimate vlog space, our little nook. Our and uh, this nook is where away we... from nooks. Sure. Yeah. It's also quieter on this side of the house right now, so. <laughs> so, lots of things in life surprise you. You know, some things you have no idea will happen. Some things you plan and then they don't happen that way. Some things do happen the way you plan. Some things don't. Where are you going with this? Hard left and then a right and <laughs> another left and then a U-turn. All right. But so if you guys aren't aware, Jen and I have an awesome channel called Safety Scissors and Duct Tape, which we do together. Which you're currently on. Yes. Yeah, so right. I would hope that you guys were aware. So... We we love getting to hang out with you guys and talk with you guys and you guys are following us on these weird things that we're doing <laughs> in these journeys and things like that. And one of the things that we decided because we've been asked, are we dating? Are we? Oh, I figured we were doing dramatic pause oh. for a second. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, are you about to tell me that we're not? Oh no. So we've been together since August of 2017 and we started out as friends actually no that's not true we started out as i hired you to do videography for noise complaint mm -hmm. he i was looking for somebody to do noise complaints new amazing nintendo video and this dude posts in cosplayer to, cosplayers of jacksonville oh looking to branch out in my videography let me know if you any of you have projects and i was like so like we tap dance and he was like i love tap dance mm -hmm. And that's literally how the conversation went. And I put you in my phone um, after we met. We mm -hmm. met with a couple of members of Noise Complaint, and then he came, and it was at Mellow Mushroom. Yeah, we went and got pizza. Yeah. And uh, I met, it was like four of Four or guys. five members, because yeah. uh, we were kind of like making sure he wasn't, as the kids say nowadays, sus. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> I, uh, and I had never met them, so they were like, they just got done with rehearsal. And, we were sweaty. And part of me was like, <laughs> Really, a nerdy tap dance group. That's what everybody says when they find out about okay. us. Okay, and then they did have a, uh, they do, they did have a YouTube page, which they still do. And she's like, "Check us out, but don't watch this video." Yeah, don't watch uh, that one video. <laughs> and I was like, "Why?" So what? What video do you think I watched first? The video she said not to. And I laughed, and I was like, "I gotta watch more." I watched everything that I could find. I even searched in YouTube to find out more. I found live show footage. Mm -hmm. So I was like, "Okay, they're legit. They're not just." Like some weirdos in a closet tap dancing. And we checked out your stuff to make mm -hmm. sure you were legit, not just some dude with a camera. And Which, surprise I am. Yeah, but you know how to use it. Yeah. So um, we we met up, and I put him in my phone as Sean Running Mouth because I didn't catch his last name. So I just and now my he's still in my phone as Sean Running Mouth. Mm -hmm. And if I if it if my car calls him, it's like or if you call me and I'm in the car, now. Getting call from Sean the Running Mouth, and I'm like, oh my god, car, that's <laughs> stop. Um, because I'm known across as Running Mouth for my art and gaming and things like that, so that's just been my moniker forever. So yeah, sorry, I didn't explain uh, that. I was just that's like, where that came from. So weird. like, Running Mouth Studios was my uh, company, and um, or is my company? It is. <laughs> you still do the art yeah. and videography, and and stuff. so we met up and we hung out that night, and you know. These these cool these kids were so much fun. I say kids because most of them were yeah most early of them 20s were, were early twenties or younger. And I'm over here, the old lady going, "Hi, I'm thirty. What's up?" And I was like, "Hi, or, I'm." I was thirty two. Because that was 2014, right? It was December 2014. Yeah, I was thirty one at the time. I would have been thirty two. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> Fast forward, we became really good friends over just going to cons, mm -hmm. and I would wake up in the morning early and want to go work out, and he would come with me, and none of the others wanted to get up. Like, they were all just like, nah, I won't sleep, and I'm like, dude, I want to work out. I have a show today. I've got to get my cardio going, and so I'd want to go for a walk or go for, like, a run in the gym, and he would get up and go with me. And, and then I was we already awake, so why not? Why yeah, not? we just started forging this friendship through mm -hmm. that, and I always thought you were going to be, like, one of my BFFs. Mm -hmm never saw it coming that you and I would date. Mm -mm. And it was this funny. Is it's like for his, for <laughs> years, we were just best friends. We had, mm -hmm. neither one of us had any interest in dating the other one, you know, whether we were in relationships or just didn't want to be in a relationship or anything like that. We just didn't have any of that interest. 
Not you know? at all. And we're, we're not each friends. other's type no. at all. And so we we just wanted to be friends. We were just hanging out and always having a blast. And you know, we got along great. And you know, we grew up with the same mindsets in the same era. Yeah, and, literally, we grew up in the exact same everything as far as like time period and what we like to do and what kids did back then and mm-hmm. so that's why our whole vlog is about or podcast is about the 90s mm-hmm. best era ever <laughs> and <laughs> you know just over time we just we, we were best friends you know like that whenever I had issues or if I had questions she would help me and vice versa and it was never it was never with any intention beyond just best friends you know yeah and we actually bonded though and became more than that by helping each other through a couple of really bad breakups mm-hmm. I was there not like in person with you it was more like I would just chat with you because mm-hmm. he had just ended a very long relationship and moved out on his own and as his friend I cared mm-hmm. and so I kind of just like I would text him all the time and be like hey so what's up and we would have what we call big kid talks where we have to talk about adulty stuff and mm-hmm. we don't want to talk about stuff like that and um, I was going through a pretty bad breakup as well and he was there for me mm-hmm. um, the whole time it was just because we both knew the other one needed someone to just talk yeah. and it was great to have a friend that actually would like listen to me without judging me or telling me that I was doing the wrong thing it was just she just wanted to listen and yeah. vice versa and you know, that's all we ever wanted to do was just listen so the other person had just a sounding board we never had any intention of dating whatsoever mm-hmm. And then my cat got sick. For any of you guys that know, uh, Ninja was my baby boy for 16 years, Mm -hmm. almost 17. He almost made it to 17. But uh, he was my boy, the love of my life, star-crossed love of my life. And he got sick, and he took care of him. Mm -hmm. Because I was busy getting noise complaint on the road. I had six jobs at the – eight jobs at the time. I had – so much going on I couldn't get Ninja to the vet I couldn't stay up with him and do all of his medications I couldn't do any of that and at the time I was in school so I worked part time and but I was school full time and I had just moved into the noise complaint house because it just made sense to help them out with rent and me get we had lost a couple of members of the house Um, they decided to move out um, and you know, one of them moved back home. One of them decided to move in with somebody else. And it was just that time. And mm-hmm. I'm sitting here with Alex going, well, rent just got higher. And he goes, I can help. And so, so I don't know why I feel like being extra dramatic. <laughs> but, trying to drown out the helicopter that's flying over our house right now. And so I moved in with them. And then shortly after that, Ninja got sick. And I had the time and availability. It was actually nine months after that. Oh, yeah. Or eight months after that, that Ninja got sick. That's true. Yeah. And... So we, I took care of him with her, and it was like one of those things where, like she said, she had day job and uh, other, the other jobs that and she And I did. couldn't afford to miss those things, or I couldn't have paid for Ninja's mm-hmm. treatments. Like, he cost me seven grand. It cost mm-hmm. me seven grand to save my cat's life, mm-hmm. but it worked. And so I made sure because... I knew that like she'd have to get up and go teach all day the next day, like 10 like hours. 12 hour day. <laughs> and I didn't have class or I didn't have work the next day. So I stayed up all night with him so that way she could sleep. And, you know, we, we, we wound up making like pallets on the floor, you know, here, here. And then Ninja slept between us so that way he was surrounded by people that were going to make sure he was okay. Yeah. We did everything we could to make sure that that boy was okay. Yeah, basically from Ninja being sick on, it was like campouts mm-hmm. in my room between the two of us. Like he would be on the floor, I'd be on the bed, or we'd both be on the floor because Ninja, it, we, it was all about Ninja because that mm-hmm. he was – he was my boy. He was my son, basically. And I know he's a cat, but some of you guys, cat people and dog people, you get me, okay? That's my kid. And we just needed to make sure he was all right. Especially for the first couple months that he was yeah. going through after he had, like, a blood transfusion and all these things It was, and it stuff. was bad. I can tell um, that story in another vlog. And, you know, so it was several nights of having to wake up every hour to either give him medicine or make sure he's eating or drinking. But at the end of the day, mm-hmm. at some point, at some point within watching him take care of my son, I fell for him. And both of us were kind of like, you know, we should probably date or something. And I remember talking to Noise Complain about it. I remember asking permission. <laughs> I remember being like, hey guys, I know I'm the one who said that intercompany dating is not okay, but what if I dated the photographer? Like, would you guys be super pissed if I did that? And they were like, 
I mean, we all thought you guys were dating anyway. Like, how long? <laughs> we <laughs> you laughed guys aren't so dating? hard because we're like, we were like, what? No. No. <laughs> they, they assumed for the longest time that he actually liked me. Mm-hmm. And again, I was not his type. I am way too neurotic for you, but... I am way too... I'm just going to sit on the couch and watch TV and then do <laughs> stuff later in the day. She's like, I'm awake. I'm going to do it now, oh, now, 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 now. And it's friends. like, she's like, did you get your stuff done? I will. When? And then, <laughs> and then me, I'm like, you know you can relax. And she goes, when? <laughs> yeah, no, so, yeah. Can I schedule <laughs> my relaxing time? That's so so it was just, it was a lot of fun because, you know, we were definitely not each other's type and it's just, that's what makes it hilarious to <laughs> we us. We were laughing so hard. We're just like, him? Her? No. But then eventually, I know, eventually <laughs> we just went for it and mm-hmm. then they were like, we already thought you were. And I was like, well, I guess you guys beat us to the punch. Right. They but, were, they were noise complaining to psychics. Yeah. Apparently. So we've been dating for three, a little over three years mm-hmm. and we've, uh, we've had a really wonderful, but very up and down three years. Mm-hmm. I, you came into my life at the perfect time. The universe aligned to bring him into my life when I needed help with my baby and when I needed to get through the loss of my dad. And my mom says all the time that, like, he's the kind of person that my dad would have wanted for me. And I know that you are. He wanted somebody that could protect me. He wanted somebody that was intellectually challenging to me. And that's something that both of us needed. Mm -hmm. Like, chess matches between the two of us are really good because we're both very, like, logical and very aggressive Mm -hmm. and we're both very (laughs) analytical about everything oh yeah i mean you were an analyst in the army Mm -hmm. and i'm a math brain and Mm -hmm. a music theory brain like i analyze everything so yeah it's Mm -hmm. you're everything that my dad wanted for me so that that really has been good thank you universe for Mm -hmm. lining up to bring me this so and my cats are ever grateful for mm-hmm. you because you know he he treats them like his kids mm-hmm. and that's what more could a cat lady want right? <laughs> those, are, those are my babies <laughs> and I love them and uh, you know I do everything I can to make sure they're okay and so there was it was a big it was a big change for both of us because we <laughs> neither one of us had intentions of that. I and didn't intend on dating for a really long time after my either. last relationship. It was just not something I was interested in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then the universe broke us. Yeah, the universe basically cracked me like an egg and said, nope. And I was like, okay, (laughs) I guess I'll scramble now. (laughs) So yeah, we really are a team. And just being able to have each other through everything that we've been through in the last three years, and especially 2020, Mm -hmm. is just such a blessing. It's more than I ever could have hoped for. And I'm glad that I listened to the universe when it said, by the way, skirt, go this way. So... So being a, as us being a team and everything, let me tell you a story about something that happened last week. We decided to go for a walk. and Like we do. <laughs> and I decided to do a vlog. So I think it's best if I go ahead and show you the video. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? I am hanging out with the wonderful Jen. We are working out. By working out, I mean I'm walking. And she just worked out in a video that we just filmed. Yeah, and he's like, you want to work out some more? And I was like, actually, yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Do we have to actually show the video from this vlog? Do you see? I look like crap. Do you see my hair in it? It's like, Do you see my hair and like the sun and my pale, pale skin? And no, I just, I'm so mad at you right now. Those sunglasses are so fashionable. <laughs> Hit play. Yeah, so <laughs> we're out for a walk and, you know, I've had a lot of stuff on my mind recently and you know a lot of stuff in my heart and I figured I would just tell you guys whoever's listening whoever decides that they want to hear this or if I even post it anywhere I it's about to rain on us as you can see well those are trees I'm, I'm good at this oh um, God, it really is about to downpour but all we over one of the things that happened to me a lot of stuff has changed in my life over the past couple years one of the big ones is that I decided to go back to school And by back, I mean I went one time for a semester for one class, and then I decided that it wasn't for me. I'd rather work at some dead-end job because I believe that if I worked hard at a job, I would move up in the company and make lots of money because I figured that's what I could do. That's what I knew how to do. And then years later, fast forward 
several years later, this person came into my life and she decided, hey, guess what? You should go to school. Well, okay, no, it wasn't like that. No. I didn't convince you to go to school. No. You were unhappy because you wanted to do art. And I said, well, why don't you go get a degree in art? And you said, you can do that? Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was stuck at a dead end job that I hated. I was making okay money, but I wasn't happy. And one of the things that I've decided in my life over these past couple years is that I don't care, I do care about money, but I don't care that I'm making millions of dollars or you know, 32,000 a year at that job, but I wanted to be me. And I was tired of not being me. I lost me in all the years that I worked. And who are you? Who am I? Yeah. I'm a dude with a microphone and a camera. Actually, no, no microphone today, but I'm a guy with a camera who just sees the world differently than a lot of people. I'm an artist. Yes. That's you what are. I am. And I thought I was just a desk worker who was there destined to answer calls. That's what I thought my job was. I thought that was my life. I think but she you, were, showed you me. were stuck in this view of life where you could only do art on the weekends and you had to have like a job job. And I'm like, well, job jobs are nice, but that doesn't have to define who you are. Yeah. My career is as a dancer, but I am also a teacher. Mm -hmm. But my career is as a dancer and that's the difference. You yeah. are an artist mm -hmm. and you also have a paycheck mm -hmm. from a thing. Okay, and this is the part where he's getting like super reflective and kind of cheesy and I'm just sitting there walking like, all right, uh, yeah, school, yeah, life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so at this point, you guys probably can't tell, but there's something on my mind. Yeah, but that's one of the greatest things, you know, and back then when she inspired me to do this, I didn't know that we were a team. I didn't know we were friends. And she was just my friend who gave me an idea and showed me that I could do what I wanted and that I shouldn't let anything hinder me, you know? <laughs> and she has no idea how forever grateful I am for that. None whatsoever. She has no idea what she's done for me. <laughs> and, you know, over the past couple years, her and I have been dating. Surprise. Anyone that didn't know? <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Am I about to... To you? Is that about to happen? Continue watching. But one of the things that she doesn't know is that today, I want her to be my wife. <laughs> For you? Yeah. I love you, Jen. And I want you to be my wife. I didn't see this coming. Will you marry me? <laughs> Yeah. You are the best part of me. So that happens. <laughs> she had no idea. None. And Not for a clue. Here we are a little over a week later. She still hasn't said no. She's I, no, we're still I, on board. <laughs> it's still going I think in. I threatened to call off the engagement because of something stupid. I think you said you didn't like something and I was like, "Up, oh, that's it." Engagement's off, but it was, that's, that's the only joke I've made yeah, so far. And I am beyond excited. And <sighs> I didn't think I would be. Like, I never thought that I would be have this thought that I wanted this or this excitement. And I'm beyond excited because it's with my partner in crime, my best <laughs> friend, my teammate. I never thought I would want this again. I never thought. I just, I didn't think that it's. I don't, I don't have words. I honestly don't have words because I never expected to feel this way again. And I never expected to hear that question again. Mm -hmm. And if you're wondering why I'm saying again, I am going to explain in a future video that I have been married before. I'm not anymore. It's <laughs> legally, it's, it's a thing. It's done. Mm -hmm. But I just, you don't know that you'll get a second chance at the right kind of love. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you do. So I'm kind of petrified. I'm not going to lie. I am <laughs> I'm too. scared. It's a whole world that I've never been involved in. But, you know, as she says, she has before. So I think I'm more scared because I have been involved <laughs> with it before. So we're hoping to bring you guys along with this adventure. So we have, we have a lot of stuff planned and a lot of fun things going on. 
Yeah, and he said adventure. Um, you know how people do the stupid hashtags for their for their engagement, or like they make up like a phrase or something. Yeah, I guess we're we're those people. We didn't even mean to. We were just talking about how people do that, and then in that same conversation, we both came up with Jen and Sean's excellent adventure <laughs> because we both love Bill and Ted. So, mm-hmm. yep. Join us on Jen and Sean's Excellent Adventure as we catalog and vlog the whole process with you guys. Mm -hmm. Like, the first time around, I don't remember anything, and I want to make sure that I remember this whole thing with you, and we have it on video so that one day, when I don't remember any of it, you can go, nope, we did do this. And I go, oh. And trust me, we are not doing anything normal. I mean. Well, sort of. (laughs) <laughs> normal-ish normal-ish I'm not doing things out, out of norm uh, out of the norm I don't know uh, just for the sake of that I think we're going to be doing whatever makes us happy and I, again out of the norm is bringing you along with it for every step of the process like every decision every conversation mm-hmm. we're, we're going to be planning the entire thing from today to a year after we get married mm-hmm. we're going to be still planning the future the relationship because the wedding is not a wedding it is the beginning of a life mm-hmm. together although i guess for us it's like a midpoint mm-hmm. of a life it's like a stop do a thing and it's like a, in the game of life stop get a person to put in your car here's some money keep <laughs> going except in this version you have to pay lots of money in order to get the person <laughs> in your car <laughs> all i know is this whole this whole experience so far and from here on out is going to be most excellent <laughs> yes absolutely so, i can't I'm, believe we just announced this like mm-hmm. we're i am such a private person mm-hmm. about so this I. stuff i'm just sitting it's, here like we re- am i really gonna post this it's really funny because both of us are very private about our personal lives we always have been just in general it's just <laughs> us we're just quiet people like that we're extroverts but not when it not when it comes that. to re- what's like mm-hmm. love and relationships and like that kind of real life mm-hmm. i'm not very open yeah. about that but i'm really excited and i'm excited to have you guys find out and experience this with us yeah post in the comments i guess not only nice things mm-hmm. no being not nice okay mm-hmm. i can't take that on this one you can be not nice about anything else mm-hmm. but <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for hanging out with us and coming with us thanks for being so cool to the point where i feel like comfortable telling mm-hmm. you guys this so you guys have become our friends yeah, that means, even know it means yet. a lot. So, but anyway. I'm Safety Scissors. And I'm Duct Tape. And we are out of here. <laughs>